Welcome to Jesus and Mary Inseparable. The title of this video is What is the Meaning of Life? The meaning of life is very simple and it can be found in the first page of every Catholic catechism book. The first point mentioned in the Catholic Catechism, at least the traditional Catholic Catechism, is the question, what is the meaning of life? And the answer is given very simply, the meaning of life is to know, love and serve God. And that's it. The meaning of life is to know, love and serve God. How do we know God? Firstly, we can know God by reading his book. God has given us his book, the Holy Bible. And every word in the Bible is written by God. Of course, men wrote the words, but God, the Holy Spirit, is the author of every word. He inspired every word that is written on that book. So we can say God is the author of the Bible. And we can say God wrote every word in the Bible. So we can know God by reading his book And we can also know God by talking to him. God is everywhere. He's omnipotent. Omnipotent is a Latin word made by two words, omni and potent. Omni is Latin for all or everywhere. And potent means, is translated as powerful, potent, potentia, power. So po omnipotentia means all powerful. And he's everywhere, his power is everywhere. So we can know God by speaking to him, although we have to be careful. Sometimes people like to say they are speaking to God when in reality they're just talking to their imagination or even worse, the devil. The Protestants like to do that very much. They get many people on telly, on radio, in the papers saying, God was telling me to do this. God was telling me to do that. God was telling me to ask for your money, etc., etc. <laughs> but in reality, it's not God telling them anything. It's it's their own imagination, or even worse, it's the devil. Um, so we have to be careful when we are trying to talk to God. The devil's job is to trick us and to lead us astray. So um, yeah. that is a consideration that is needed. Um, so we, how do we, how how else do we know God? Um, we can know God by. sharing his mother. God has a mother. Jesus is God and Jesus had a mother and has a mother. Jesus and Mary are in heaven. And so are all the angels and saints. 
we are giving we are given a lovely image of this in revelation so we can also get to know god by knowing his friends and family the angels the saints and most particularly the blessed virgin mary his mother Mary is always the quickest way to God. Not just to Jesus, but to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Mary is the quickest way to God in every way. Nobody knows God more than Mary. Nobody is saying she is a God. We're just saying she has a place in human history which is unequivocal, unparalleled, unequal. She is God's greatest creation. And therefore she is above every other creation. It's very helpful to imagine a small pyramid with God at the top. And then at the bottom of the pyramid, we have the people. But in between, we have saints and then angels and then the Blessed Virgin Mary. And then with God at the top. So Mary has a special place. She is not just a person. She is greater than all the angels and saints put together can you imagine that probably not i don't think anybody can all the angels and saints put together they're not as great as mary they're not as close to god as mary mary is so close to god it's it's unimaginable Of course, you can still pray to saints and you can still pray to the angels, but nothing will work quite as well as going straight to the mother of God, the mother of Jesus, Mary, who's our mother as well. And don't forget, one of the Ten Commandments is honor your father and mother. This goes not just for your earthly heaven, earthly father and mother, but also your heavenly mother and father. Everybody has a heavenly father who they can lose, which is another topic, but everybody has a heavenly father and it's only obvious and natural that we should have a heavenly mother as well. Mary is our heavenly mother. As the mother of Jesus, she has the title of mother of God. And as the mother of God, she has the title of mother of mankind. So she's our mother. So if we want to know God and to love God and to serve God, the best and quickest way is to know Mary and love Mary and serve Mary. Everything you do for her will be magnified and made better and placed in front of God as something truly wonderful but if you just do it on your own accord it will not be half as good it will not be nearly as good it will not be a fraction as good let's picture my offering to God I go to God and the best thing I can offer him is some half-eaten 
almost rotten apple. That's how pathetic I am. But if I give that to Mary, our mother, she will take it to God on the most exquisite platter made of fine gold, the finest gold, and on the platter would be all of her sorts of delights. And the offering will be made acceptable and pleasing and even wonderful. So how can you how can anyone not like that idea? That idea is true, as many saints have testified. Saint Alphonsus Liguri is one great saint from fairly recent history who would testify to that. And Saint Maximilian Kolbe, even more recent, who died in the Second World War. He always said, never be afraid to love Mary too much. You'll never be a you'll never be able to love Mary as much as Jesus did. And never be afraid to honor Mary too much. You'll never be able to honor Mary as much as Jesus did. The more honor you give to Mary and the more love you give to Mary, the more pleasing you are to Jesus. And I hear many Protestants insulting Mary and belittling Mary. And do you think Jesus will be pleased with that? Oh no, they will have a terrible judgment if they do not repent. They will go to hell for that. Insulting Jesus' mother is a horrible crime. Horrible, horrible, horrible crime. And Jesus would not allow it. So let's hope they turn from their deception, which they have found themselves entrenched in, this terrible Protestant heresy, heretical, Protestantism is a horrible, heretical religion. It's horrible. It's from the devil. It makes people insult Jesus' mother. It makes people insult your mother. Mary is your mother. Please go forward and tell people to love their mother. Do anything you can, even if it's just giving people a small prayer card saying Mary is your mother, please love her, something like that. Or do Facebook comments and or yeah, you, YouTube comments. Just evangelize a bit. Help people to know they have a heavenly mother and to encourage people not to insult her, which will lead them to hell. So I hope that's helped you and inspired you. This is Jesus and Mary inseparable, signing off with a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs>